Okay, so this is the third time I've tried this today. I'm not going to give up this time. So I'm gonna tag some people. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about spring bags and what I'm doing and how I'm working them and all of those things. So let me know if you're popping on. Let me know if you're watching the replay. Let me know if you have any questions as I go through here. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I am doing to hopefully have some successful bags. Tag those team members. Tag your people. I would love for people to be on so I am not chatting with myself. But if I am, that's okay too. All right, so I see some people are finally popping on. I'm sorry, y'all. I really hate talking to myself. And I was trying to do this on my computer, and it was just not showing me if anybody was on, and I really, really, really don't like that. Okay, I am done tagging people. So let me share with you guys really quick because my host is about to come pick this up. So if I, please tell me that's not her. Give me one second. Okay, I swear the devil is out for me today. <laughs> okay, so spring bags. Um, the first thing I want to chat with you guys about is I was doing follow-up and she said that she needed some spring bars. And so, instead of just saying, okay, well, what can I get you? I asked if she wanted to borrow a bag and smell all the testers and see if anybody else wanted to do a bulk order with her. I never said party. I just said, would you like a bag of testers so you can see if someone wants to do a bulk order with you? Because I know her mom and coworkers and stuff. Guys, like, I know a lot of people aren't doing home parties. A lot of people aren't comfortable getting out, but truth be told, people are still going to work. People are still going to do all the things. So there's no excuse for not having bag parties right now. There's just not. Some people won't be comfortable with that because they're going to be touching stuff or whatever. Guys, spray some hand sanitizer on those dang testers. Spray some hand sanitizer. If they don't want to give back the catalog because people have touched it, do a QR code and they can all go look at the catalog digitally. Like, there are ways to do this and still do it right now with COVID. Be, but saying that there's not a way is just an excuse. So, you need to get those testers out of your house. You need to get those testers under people's noses because we all know that our scents are the best, but people need to be able to smell them. Okay, so this is a really good host. She hosts for me all the time. So I don't normally put this much stuff in it, but she said that a bunch of people were just needing Scentsy. So this is what I'm doing. First off, I have a counter clean in the bag and it says, try me. Listen to Chastity. Do not give full bottles to people. Don't do it because what's going to happen is somebody, and it's, it, if it hasn't happened to you yet, it may happen to you soon. You'll give somebody a full bottle, it'll say, try me, and they will bring it back and it'll be empty and then not have any party orders. And that sucks, right? So this bottle doesn't have a whole lot in it. What I did was I made samples of this Fiesta Lime and I just left a little bit in it so that I could put it in my bag party. So she can try that and it's a new scent, okay? Now, I have this now. The reason why I am doing this, this is basically like a pod party. I'm giving her a wall fan and a mini fan to use because she's a good customer and because she's a good host. If it's somebody that I don't really know, I'm not going to give them all of this stuff. But I know she's going to give this back to me. She's going to use it. She's going to do really well. So, I have a wall fan diffuser. Sorry, y'all. I'm telling y'all, today the struggle is real. 
I have a wall fan diffuser and I put a cocoa lime pod in it. And I have a mini fan and I put squeeze the day in it. I did those because they're new scents. I'm gonna tell her she can use this, try it out. She's, I know that she's not just gonna go use it all and not have any orders. If you're worried about that, don't give them two different scents. This was a business write off for me. I took the other two and I'm putting it in another pod party, okay? So there's this. Now, this right here are all of, these are all the testers that come in pods. Now, reason why I'm doing that is because people can only get refills from us for pods. That's smart business, okay? Now, you're saying, well, what if they don't want to use pods? Well, have you introduced it to them? Do they know? Have they been able to touch it? Have they been able to use it? Because it's an amazing product. Even if not, all of these scents that are in here are all super popular scents. So, they're still going to be able to... Um, smell a lot of the popular ones. This is just a page from the catalog. I literally printed it off, printed it, and, e and um, laminated it front and back so they can see that. And the reason why I'm doing that, and then I have the same thing with this. Reason why I'm doing that is because that's really where I want to focus my time. Everybody knows about us for wax and warmers. Everybody needs to know about us about pods. So that is going in that. Okay, um, and then, I, like I said, I do not normally give this many testers, but I have, I don't have a whole lot of testers out right now, so I wasn't, it didn't bother me to do this. This is printed directly from the catalog, okay? This is a four by six photo holder. The new releases are in this. Why did I do this? I know she wants to smell new releases and I wanna keep it separate from my pods. I'm gonna tell her that. If they mix it up, it's okay. But now she has these. She's also a really big Disney fan. So I have the Disney Sense. Literally printed it from the catalog, used double-sided tape and put it in there, okay? You don't have to do all this. You don't need a photo carrier, put it in a Ziploc. I had these on hand, I have a million of them because that's how I used to organize some things but that's gonna go in there, okay? Now, this is my host packet. Don't waste your time trying to make them for every new season. I used to do that and I don't do that anymore. So I made these last season and now the only thing I ever have to go change out is the this page right here. So this is printed directly from the catalog, directly from the catalog and on the back of it, it has all the scents. Yes, that's kind of small, but catalogs are going to be in the bag party, okay? That's the only thing I have to change out. Everything else stays the same from now till forever. So, I have this little thing that's my electronic payment options because a lot of people want to go ahead and pay, um, and it has instructions for them on there. This is an order form that is filled out as an example. All of these things are in my Google Drive. Okay, um, this is a super generic grab, sniff, and share. It basically just tells them what to do. You cannot just hand a bag party to somebody and expect them to do well. You have to talk to them, and you tell them this is in there, read through it, and you give them information too. But it just gives them a little bit of information. On the back, it has the host chart. It has my info. And then I have a shipping quick tips sheet that I made. It's in the Google Drive. Now, this is something I created on Canva. It just has a picture of me. I'm going to read it to you real quick. My name is Chastity Robinson and I am your Scentsy Lady. Did you know that the first thing people notice when they enter your home is the smell? Nothing is more memorable than a smell and I can't wait to introduce you to some amazing fragrances, okay? Um, if you're in my team page, it's actually in the announcements and in the description. And then down here, it says, want to see our current specials and or clearance. If you choose to shop online, be sure you check, you click your host party link in the top left-hand corner of my website. And this QR code is going to take them to my website so that they can see like the clearance stuff or any specials that we have going on. Okay. And my host is going to know, I'm going to preach to her about making sure that people use her link, that if it doesn't go to her, we're going to be in trouble. And then the last thing 
is this right here. And it says, get paid for your party. Here's how. Gather orders from all your people. Pick your kit. This can even be free with a $500 party. Fill out your info and let me do the hard stuff. Step four, that's it. You can get paid back on all your purchases. And then it says what happens next. I will mentor and coach you according to your goals. If you just want to get paid on your own purchases, completely fine. Want to start your own business? I got you. Want to, um, want to change your life? Let's rise. Okay? Now, I'm going to be honest. A lot of people probably don't go all through this and read it. But what's going to happen if my girl takes this bag and she takes it to work and people are looking through it? And she's not sitting right there or whatever. They need to have information. I need to be able to connect with these people who have never seen me before. So that's why I do this. And the reason why I did it like this is so because it was really time consuming to change it every season. So now I have just this little part right here. And like I said, the only thing I changed is my scent chart. Okay? You don't have to laminate it. You don't have to be as fancy as me. Don't. All you need is testers, catalogs, in front of people's faces, okay? So, that is going in there. And then the last things that I have are I do order forms. On my order forms, I staple them together because this tells my host, get all the contact info. I'm talking email, address, phone number. You need it as the consultant, not because you're going to hassle them, but if you have any questions, something goes out of stock, you need a way to contact them. And also you can put them in your system so you can email them, etc. You need a way to follow up with these new people if they order just from the bag. Okay. Order forms. I put two catalogs in there. Okay. Two catalogs. Um, if they want more, they can get more, but I usually only give two. I tell them if somebody wants to take stuff with them, give them a product list and send them your party link. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? Anybody? Anybody? Do not feel like yours need to look like mine. Do not feel like you need to give all the testers that I'm giving. You do what is good for you, and only you can decide that. Also, if you didn't know, you can buy, um, like, one tester. Like, for instance, tangerine creamsicle. I can buy one tangerine creamsicle if I wanted to, and it's a dollar on the workstation. You could make your own testers from a bar if you wanted to save money. You can absolutely do that. I've done that in the past. Um, but something that I suggest is making sure you have multiples if you're doing a lot of bag parties making sure you have multiples of the popular ones, like the ones that come in a lot of scents, like Blue Grotto, um, Sunkissed Citrus, not scents, but products, Aloe Water and Cucumber, Luna. I always have multiples of those so that when I'm ready to give my parties out, I have those testers because those are the ones that a lot of people want to smell, if that makes sense. And if you're new and you only got a transition kit, or you just have one set, then you know that not everybody's going to have all of the popular ones. Now, don't go spend money that you don't have. That's just a pro tip if you're going to do something like that. You can make your own testers, which I have done in the past. Like for some of the popular ones, this is Go-Go Mango. This is literally a jewelry container from Michael's. You can probably get them way cheaper online. And then I just did like a little circle label and I put go go mango on it. This is time consuming. This isn't income producing. But if you're you'll just have to figure it out if it's going to be cheaper for you for whatever it is that you need to do. Okay? Now um typically if I was just giving this party to like a normal host, somebody that I'm not like as familiar with, I would probably only give them this right here. And I would just make everything fit. But because like I said, she's a really good customer and a really good host. I am putting it in a clear bag for her to tote around, and she's got this right here, so she can tote it with her, with her kid to practice, she can take it with her wherever, and it's see-through, so people are going to ask, people are nosy, plus it's warm here in North Carolina, I have to tell them don't leave it in your car, and so I like having this 
because she can just throw it over her shoulder. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Find all the files in the Google Drive. You might have to search for them a little bit, but I promise they're there. Love y'all. Mean it. Have a great day.